So I saw this post on Reddit where somebody said they had been crushed by a crazy deck they had never seen before, and it turns out it was a Dracula Zoo deck. An archetype I hadn't really thought about in a long time, but if somebody was playing it successfully uh, in the fifth battle of an infinite conquest, I figured we needed to revisit it. And in fact, I put my own little spin on the build they had showcased there on Reddit, adding in uh, some, some different one drops like uh, Nico Minoru here and some things I thought might work better uh, on turn six in particular because of the way this deck plays. You're trying to empty your hand on turn six so that your Dracula has a really big hit on either the Infinite or Red Skull, which means some one drops like Iceman or Nebula that are better in the early game aren't necessarily good for that turn six push, whereas things like Rocket Raccoon or Nico can still have uh, some, some big significant plays late in the game, hitting a demon or whatever on this one, for instance, can be nice. So the goal with this deck really is to play down some of your twos and threes in the early game, just to get these out of the way, to kind of set you up for later. Turns four and five, you wanna be playing Dracula and or Kazars. And then turn six, you wanna play a bunch of one drop spam, emptying that hand for sure. That Dracula hits big. He carries the lane all by himself with 14, 20 power, maybe some supporting squirrels or whatever. Then, of course, you can just win other lanes with that swarm of one drops. You'll be surprised just how much power you can actually pump out when you've got something like Titania and a four power Rocket Raccoon and a four power Nico that's been buffed up, all getting hit by a Kazar. Suddenly, that is also its own monster threat. And I didn't really expect too much out of this deck because it's kind of an old archetype, nothing crazy or spicy here but I had a great run. I went 10 and three plus 15 cubes. That's a 77% win rate through my first hour with this list. I think it really caught people off guard. Didn't know what to expect. Didn't really run into any Killmonger problems. Saw a lot of discard in particular in the meta out there, which this seemed to do fairly well against. So uh, I don't know, man, there's something cool happening here. I'd love to see more data on this deck to see if it can hold up as it hits the uh, wider population, but uh, if you got these cards laying around, you want to try something a little different. This deck does seem like it has some real potential. Okay, Nico's uh, two in hand. Um, we could play them, but I'm actually going to chill. I want to know if they always update to the same stuff. Are they going to use like the same random seed? No, they don't. Okay, good to know. Wouldn't really expect them to. Uh, armor there's good. Uh, Nico added copies. Wait a minute. We could do add a copy of Nico. It's not really relevant. Let's just wait. Uh, we do want to armor still though, that's fine. Armor, for the cards you can play kind of early in this deck, right? It's armor, lizard, cosmo. Of course your four drops, Dracula and Kazar, those are the best time to play those. Um, the ones I think you do kind of want to save till later though, very often. Two X and destroy it and draw two, okay. Um, we can actually, <sighs> So this is our turn four, this is our turn five. I just want to make sure that we're lining up for a good Dracula. Um, this is currently three energy on six. If I drew something like a Cosmo, I could be in trouble, but I guess we can weave one Nico in on turn five. So in other words, we're gonna chill this turn. We're gonna we're gonna hold. The name of the game here is is really ultimately patience, I think, very often. Uh I'm sure please there's location. Okay. Dracula's fine. Next turn is Kazar plus a one drop. And then Dracula can go here. We don't really need to hide it behind armor. Armor is actually better for our one drops in this particular world. Ooh, Wong, huh? Ooh. I can't say I'm excited to see that. Uh, Yeah, so actually we just need to draw one of our big cards here. It's unfortunately not that... Uh... Not that likely. Let's remember that our next card is a demon. I was thinking I didn't want to draw two off that Nico because I would have too many cards in hand for my Dracula, but I, it seems like perhaps the reality was the opposite. Maybe I, <laughs> maybe I needed to make sure I hit one of the big guys because if I don't hit a big guy here. Oh, we hit a big guy. Okay, that does make life uh, a little bit better. So uh, this is going to become a demon, I guess. And then we silence Titania and maybe go hard like this and then hope that 14's enough there. Feels kind of weird, like this is 
Sort of hard to beat. Uh, maybe we want the zero here, actually. Zero turns into a demon, then you've got Titania, Nico, and Rocket. This is four, five, six, and four plus Kazar buffs, and then you hope 14's enough, right? Although that's certainly not a guarantee either. Dr. Doom, is that, I feel like we maybe win this left? I don't know, we're gonna get a demon. That's pretty big. Seems like we're more than big enough, but Titania silenced off is great. Were you freaking out as you think Titania was gonna move? Don't worry, I got gotcha. <laughs> Don't Don't worry, we got it, don't worry. Don't worry, perfect, yeah. Actually insane powered up, dude. Nico, so good there. Honestly, so good, wow. Okay, Nico, double this card's power. That's not too exciting for now. We want to hold these one drops in hand till later. Big house. Actually, mostly fine for us. We uh, we can play a lot of small stuff there, no problem. Strange Academy. They can let me get a big card in a big house sometimes. Nico, replace that location. All right, that's fine. Dude, by the way, I still have to read the Nikos every time. I, 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 I'm confident. Oh, we stopped the Moon Knight. Let's go. I'm sure at some stage in my life, I will learn the Nico plays. That stage is not today. <laughs> I just want to tell you, it's not today. Um, yeah, let's put Lizard in here with this Morbius. I know this is a pretty big commitment, but I'm actually thinking about maybe skipping turn five. That seems kind of wrong, though. But we're just sort of big mid. Uh, we could, but what we could maybe do is say, screw that Morbius. We're going to go in here. Well, no, that Strange Academy ruins us, though. Uh, we need to do it like this. I hate going head to head with this Morbius is the only thing. If this wasn't Strange Academy, I think I would do all of this right and then just try to overpower them with the Infinite left, you know? Um, this may not work against Morbius particularly well, though. Titania and Blade gone, okay. <clears throat> it's like, are we confident we can beat this Morbius? I'm, I'm certainly not, I'll tell you. But without a Dracula, what, what choice do we have? If we top decked Dracula and we knew we were gonna top deck Dracula, you know, a Red Skull would be the correct play. Uh, without knowing that we're gonna top deck Dracula, I think an Infinite left is the correct play. But you have to hope that the Morbius just whiffs somehow, like they don't hit a Modok or whatever, uh, and that the that the uh, Infinite just wins. I don't think we Infinite into their Dracula though, right? I think we just Infinite here. I have priority though, so if they if they were running an Eliath, that would be a problem. I don't really expect an Eliath in a discard deck though. I'm expecting them to play a Modok here, and then how many cards do they have in hand? They have four in hand, that's plus eight on the Morbius. We'd still be ahead here. Maybe they go for a big APOC here. So we win eight, 20 to eight here. We win 13 to 10 here. I think that's definitely possible. Nice. Pre-recorded, dude. Oh, Dracula buffs us to 12 though, I just realized. Oh no. We still went 13 to 12. 13 to 12, I think. Or did I, maybe I did do it right. Oh no, I did do it right. Okay, just kidding. Yeah, nice. Scary call mid, right? We had this. Whew, scary. Tough game, tough game, but 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 good win, I would say. Dream Dimension, we got fives, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Uh this is a great hand actually so far. As long as our hand stays cheap enough for that turn six dump, we're great. Uh so if we get any like threes or twos, we definitely want to get them now so that we can play them on time. And then hope that we just have that cheap enough hand on six. We might need to like manage a little bit of the kind of count our, our, our uh, energy totals. This is good to get now because it means it's not going to get hit on six, which means the most expensive cards we could have. I guess a red skull is still kind of a problem, but that's still a good 50 50 hit. But yeah, so we'd have two, two, one, 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 which means we got one in hand. I think we'll be fine if we just play the Cosmo here. That's uh, add a copy to your hand, sure. Baxter building is probably where we're gonna want our Dracula to go, so the Cosmo can likely go elsewhere. Not there. We are good at contesting that sometimes with uh, Squirrel Girl, though. So that's nice. 
wonder what they're saving this for. They skipped turn two. So something on three, maybe werewolf, maybe a... Who knows? Cerebro. Oh, that's spicy, dude. Cool. That's really fun. Uh, Red Skull, by the way, owns Cerebro. <laughs> Absolutely just owns Cerebro. But we don't have a Red Skull right now, so not something to talk about at the moment. Uh, Cerebro again, sure. Red Skull, of course, just can push. Oh, that's fine. Echoes, no problem. That would normally be really good for a played Red Skull for the record. Squirrel Girl is nice because that lets us contest Rickety Bridge for free. Yeah, okay, so if we go for the Red Skull, we're definitely not going to have uh, a good Dracula hit, obviously, um, if we want to try to counter the Cerebros. They've also just spread out so well right now that even a single Red Skull might still make it difficult to win like a tiebreaker sort of scenario. Wow. Playing around my Cosmo, dude. Brutal. <gasps> oh, bro. Bro, 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 bro. Maybe we actually need to do this here. No, because that'll be the buffed one then. Dude, we just need to hit this infinite. It's easy, dude. Easy. So Red Skull left, right? Red Skull left pushes all of those up to four. So we're like losing left if we do this is the plan, right? Because left is going to be like giga strong. But then the hope is that we win mid with a Dracula high roll because those aren't going to be buffed because Red Skull is going to make everything left buffed. And then we either win Rickety Bridge from Squirrel Girl or from Baxter Building because Dracula is our god. And we're so happy. This is the play. Easy game. Red Skull buff in action. We don't want him mid. Yes, you could turn him off, but we want him on. By the way, this Echo skin is so sick. I mean, there is maybe a play where you play him mid and also just try to win straight up. But that's pretty hard because you kind of expect him to have like 12 power or something here. Oh no, Baxter Building's a problem being gone because now... We don't win Rickety Bridge for free, but maybe we just win the tiebreaker here. Come on, Dracula. Is that enough? Oh, it's enough. Yes. It's actually enough, dude. Let's go. What a crazy line. We win by one point, dude. We win by one point. If it hit Rocket, this game would have been a straight tie. Oh, dude, that's crazy. So but the plan, right, was this was Baxter. And we went off Baxter because we've debuffed these by buffing these. Crazy weird game. Crazy weird game. I love that game. That's fun. Okay, Nico. Destroy it and draw two. No, that's not really what we're looking for here. Ooh, we could almost skip turn four with Titan. That could be fun. Normally, uh, we're all about playing uh, Kazar and Dracula kind of on four and five and saving that infinite in hand, of course, for later. If you play your next card, give it plus two power. Uh, we, we don't, you know, we don't, um, we, we, we need to save typically some one drops in hand for our final turn kind of dump. The goal here is to make sure our hand is empty for Dracula in the final turn, assuming we have a Dracula, of course, but, um, just going to say we can still play some stuff out, you know, particularly keeping this nebula in check. Seems like it does have some value. Cyclops, unfortunately, pretty good card uh armor let's just get a kazar down here that's fine uh big house is gonna swap out hopefully it goes kind of where that kazar is so dracula would be actually kind of the perfect draw here off the top to be honest because that would leave that infinite in hand and then uh we'd be good to go i i guess we'll have some thought about is it worth like passing this turn into an infinite no, we hit the Red Skull. I, I think in that case, we just go Red Skull here and try to win uh, with small stuff mid and Red Skull left, kind of abandoning that Nebula lane. This is a bit better against um, Eliath in particular, but worse against Hulk. If they have a Hulk left, obviously that could outscale the Red Skull. You know, I mean, if they play... Yeah, okay, interesting. I think actually we don't need much mid to win this game potentially. I'm gonna put a little bit of extra power left because I think the opponent is far more likely to play a card left. Uh, if they play Eliath, that's, um, well, maybe we swap these for the sake of Eliath. It doesn't actually matter because we'd win anyway though. Man, you know, I, I could honestly probably even put the rocket left as well. Just in case of a big Hulk, right? 
Oh, Eliath does go off. But again, Eliath isn't actually what beats us because Eliath is only nine power. That would be fine. Five, actually, so we went 14 to 11. It's everything else that beats us. I'm going to go all in left. I got to beat a big Hulk. Yeah, I think this is right. Yeah, Eliath just loses. Okay. Yeah, the Eliath... <laughs> yeah, I... Uh, yeah. Like we said, Eliath is not a fear. Um, okay, metal. That is replace location. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Let's dump some stats. Mirror Island, we definitely want to scale up early. We, uh, we're not going to hold in hand forever here. <clears throat> Titania 2, that's rude. We could maybe send that Titania over and, uh, try to seal it back at the end after it's gotten buffed up, right? That's actually kind of decent. Uh, oh, I have to play next card. Double this card's power. That is honestly, uh, pretty legit if I just let it sit on Mirror Island for a bit. Um... I mean, we could still maybe just play Lizard next turn and just ride it from three, but theoretically, if we skip turn three, we could maybe even do more. Uh. Okay. Mm, Lizard's gonna be full. Titania! I, I got a feeling that Titania here is gonna work, man. They're gonna play a card, they're gonna get locked out. We'll just steal it back at the end after it's gotten buffed, right? Then we probably play K's. Yeah, easy, easy game. Let's go. Nico at six is nice. Oh, okay. I was gonna say we were debating between Kazar and uh, Dracula there, but now that that's solved. No question there. Yeah, Kazar or Cosmo first. Like if I get priority, which it's gonna be hard, I could uh, definitely Cosmo where their Modok's gonna go. Like if they put Dracula here. Modok will go here. If they put Dracula here, Modok will go here. This should win me priority if they play Dracula this turn. Is that zero? Yeah, nice. Okay. So they'll want Modok to go here, which means we just Cosmo here. This is probably where you snap. I don't snap here, but but you probably snap here. So Modok should go right. Oh, Shang Chi is sad. Okay, yeah, that works too. Whatever, that's also fine. Yeah. Um, now the problem here is uh, kind of in a pickle. I think we just lizard here. It's a seven point lead, six point lead here. Armor is just, of course, to flip back the Titania. Can't play Red Skull. It's really a shame we didn't get Red Skull plus a one drop. You know, like Red Skull here plus a one drop or whatever. I mean, Red Skull is probably not that much bigger than Lizard because you you know we already know Red Skull is only ten, but probably bigger. I, I don't think they ever play two cards here, but yeah, nice dude. That came that was like masterfully executed. <laughs> yeah, not what we expected exactly, but still still the uh, the right idea. Kill the uh, kill the uh, on reveal there. Okay, Nico is plus two. Um, that is actually pretty cool on Jeff. That might be the sort of thing I'm willing to rip into a Jeff, yeah. The randomly added Jeff. I really thought about putting Jeff in this deck instead of Lizard. Uh, I just love the flexibility of Jeff. Can be so surprising, so interesting, right? It's such a such a such a powerful card because of that. Uh, ultimately decided on Lizard. Just you know, raw raw base power there, winning out some zero synergies to consider. Uh, but but. I, I, I don't begrudge a judge, a Jeff at all. If you think Jeff's a better fit for you, go for it, man. I, I believe you. I'm still a little bit sold myself, so <laughs> go play that Jeff to your heart's content. Um, Hood and Demon is definitely making me think a little bit about a Killmonger, but they played the Demon out already, so maybe not a Killmonger. I don't know. Currently, uh, we are fine for a Dracula. This is not looking like uh, a game where we play the Infinite necessarily. We could, I could rip all three of these right now and then Kazar on four and then rip the Infinite on six. Ultimately though, that's not great with Titania. I think we're gonna chill and try to find a, a traditional pop-off line late. Yeah, no good way for me to interact with that, unfortunately. Armor there makes life perhaps a little safer. We can try to just outscale this with, with um, one drops. This seems like a junk deck almost now, doesn't it? Yeah, sending in stuff like Vipers maybe. Uh, Kazar's good here. Dracula is probably still my best draw, right? Sentry, bro. Wow. Could actually put four cards there since I have the ability. Oh, Dracula instead. Man, it would sure be fun though to just dump a lot right now, right? And stick them with the void. 
Because I, I can I can also just armor. Oh, they have priority though. Oh, so shoot. No, 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 no. Well, I mean, that still works, I guess, but it doesn't stop a carnage. Could do this. Then Dracula plus hopefully a playable card. If you draw Cosmo, you're screwed with this line though. You'd be better off playing Dracula now for the increased flexibility. But I just really feel like stopping this void. Like a Viper Void line. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't think they're going to expect that. <laughs> oh. Oh no, I'm full though. I don't have any plays because of stupid squirrel girl. So they might be able, surely the Titania steel is not enough for them here, is it? Oh, okay. Dracula's insane here though. This actually plays around even a Shang-Chi. There's no way they can pull this back right, even with a Titania, can they? Because they'd still be at negative five to 10. That's a 15 point difference. Or nine, never mind nine, that's just six. Well, they'd be at negative four to nine. That's a f still a 13 point difference, that's insane. But Shang-Chi only puts him at what, 12 mid? And I'm gonna go above that, that's fine, I think. <gasps> oh, they played Shang-Chi plus something, uh-oh. How big is that? Oh no, how big is that? Oh no, I'm only at 15. No! No! Shang-Chi plus Ghost Spider plus four. Oh, bro, that was crazy. That's a good loss, man. I'll take this as a loss. Okay, actually, pretty insane hand, yeah. Um, really, the goal here is just going to be to dump everything on six. So that Infinite is there for our Dracula. That's going to carry a location, we hope. 100% uh, loser is the kind of card we can play early. That's fine. We're going to be swapping. So if there is something here, maybe I just put Lizard left. That's fine. Dracula probably goes mid because he'll likely benefit most from Monster Metropolis. Lizard into an Elsa location is a little painful. Hmm. Yeah. You do wish we could do this line, man. This would be really good. Uh, I guess if we thought our hand was small enough, we, we could maybe play Dracula on six. I don't know. I'm actually wishing I had lizarded the zero, the lizard, to be honest. Ooh, Dracula is great in storm location, but also that's going to swap. So we kind of just put Dracula here, I guess, and hope that flooding goes here. If it goes left. That's probably OK for the lizard as well. Is the opponent going to notice the Starlight Citadel, I wonder, here? <laughs> or maybe they're going to turn this off and do really sneaky stuff. I don't know. Are they going all in on flooding and then it's going to get swapped out? Okay, no, they do go left. Yeah, they're smart. Oh, hey, whoa! Woo! High roll, let's go! Yes, okay, so now we may not even really need... Uh... So I... I think we like something like this, right? Um, we just want to play Red Skull. The only downside is if we do draw like a, a non one drop, you know, we have Squirrel Girl and Nico. We draw Kizar or armor. We can't, we can't guarantee that uh, we play to the Infinite. I could also silence this Titania, right? Instead of the Red Skull. I just want to put Red Skull right though, because it seems like that's really good. And here it's working. And Titania could also lock them out a little bit too. I have priority though, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Titania, yeah, Titania is just going to be a five power here, which is totally fine. Morbius. Oh, goodness. Okay. Daken. Sure. All right. So we go uh, Red Skull. Yeah, armor, unfortunately, was what we didn't want. But we're hoping that Dracula just wins anyway, right? That's the that's the hope. You hope that Dracula, even if it hits the three, is fine. We were looking for Nico or Squirrel Girl, but that's okay. It was a 50-50, basically. But because of flooding, uh, it's probably fine. Now, if this game, of course, had not been this flooded scenario with Dracula, we would have had to play this differently, right? We would have waited to just keep Red Skull and Infinite in hand and dumped all the small stuff on six, zero titania armor or whatever. And then Dracula would either hit 14 or 20 and we'd be happy in either scenario. Uh, but of course, since we did it this way, it doesn't really matter. We can just play for the three. Oh no. Oh God. Oh, that Wolverine could screw us if we hit armor. Okay, we didn't. Oh, maybe lucky dude, maybe lucky. Oh God, the Morbius too. Oh God, he got so big. Oh no. 
I, I mean, I think that we had to do this Red Skull line, though. Like, I don't know that, you know, if we had just played uh, what? It would have been like Cosmo, Zero, Titania, Armor, right? If we'd kept Red Skull and Dracula in hand, right? Or excuse me, Infinite in hand for the guaranteed Dracula. Then we would have only had 3, 8, 11, 14. It would have been enough to win. All right. Uh, man, Asgard would be pretty cool to win, honestly. Maybe, maybe we push for this because... If we do draw enough cards, we can both kind of satisfy the late dump and the kind of early tempo. Uh, and, and combining those is pretty cool. Yeah, Titania actually would get buffed here in DC, but I, I kind of want the power in Asgard here to draw the cards right now. So we'll try it. Okay, high Evo Shocker there. I don't see Shocker too much of these builds, I feel like. Um... Dude, are we gonna have to go all in on this freaking Asgard right now? I I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. I guess Kazar would be like my. I'm hoping to win this without having to commit more. You know, 11's a lot, but I guess we do stop like a thing, but we don't really stop a Cyclops. Ooh, we turn off the magic with a Cosmo. Very fun. Okay. Um, we're ahead by six. Thing is a common play. High Evo is a common play. Thing would be a tie. I just, I don't know if I can lock this up right now. I can definitely add a little bit of power later with Kazar, but I don't want to have to add that much. I think I'm going to ditch it. I think they're giving up. I don't think they're going for it, right? I think I'll win anyway. Yeah. Nice. Cosmo there too. Okay. Cosmo everywhere, man. All right, so the only problem with the Dracula here is we only have three places to play this game. But I guess even if I draw a Kazar, like my last two cards, I can always play everything. Because these are both playable. And then we hit one of these two, right? So I guess we'll be okay. Rocket Raccoon sucks and Squirrel Girl sucks this game though. <laughs> like those both kind of suck. Uh, but it's passing. That makes me think about an Infinite maybe. These are both just two power, right? So it doesn't actually matter much. Um, I can't play them right, so. Okay, I mean, this is really good, man. We're good against Eliath mid. Well, good against Eliath everywhere because of Cosmo. Dracula dodges Eliath as well. We got a big play right. We're ahead in both locations. I, I, I don't know how they intend to win here, to be honest. I, I don't know, man. We're like just dumping a ton of power. Lady death strike right or something? I, I don't even know. We could tie that. Oh, we don't quite tie it, but we win mid and uh, mid and left anyway. I mean, this was close to be fair. Oh, bro, one of these got discounted. Oh, this is not normally possible without magic, but the shocker hit one of these. I don't know which one. That's actually nuts. Usually you only have one of them on a six cost turn, of course, because she only gets discounted by five and he costs six. So that's a seven energy play. But shocker, dude, made the difference. Cool. I can see why they snapped in. That's a pretty confident development. Um, thankfully, we covered it in both spots. Okay, we got Nico replace the card. Zero Lizard and Titania are all kind of interesting, and we want to play uh, on curve for these. We will, we will. It's fine. You know, this deck's a mix, but but Lizard definitely being a card I want to play on curve most of the time. I don't usually want to save him for six. Uh, means the zero here is okay. I'm fine with that. Rip him right. I got a feeling right is going to be Sanctum Sanctorum for some reason. I just believe. I feel. Sometimes you just feel it in your bones. Oh, Pet Mansion. That's the opposite. Uh, double this card's power. We can save that. That's not, not that great. Yeah, Cosmo Lizard's fine. Cosmo certainly seems like he belongs in the Pet Mansion, I'll say. Hopefully we shut something down here. Two cards. Very likely to be some on reveals, right? Else, uh, Blade. Okay, yeah. On reveal denied. Get wrecked. Uh, we like Dracula, maybe. Technically, right now, we, we really don't, but maybe. Maybe we do. Oh, their own Dracula. Very good into Cosmo. So, if we draw Kaze. Well, actually, hold up. What is she? I have to destroy it and draw two. So, this pretty much guarantees the Dracula is going to be a good hit. Well, I say that, but there's actually a little bit of risk because if I hit Red Skull and Infinite, 
I play the armor, it's actually not. This is getting destroyed, right? So it's actually, we'll have space still, that's fine. Yeah, this should always be fine. We just need one of our two big ones. I say always be fine. I'm not sure that that's a safe thing to say. Maybe not always fine, but often this should work okay. <laughs> Let's frame it that way, right? Yeah, so we just want the one, we're getting one big one. Yeah, this is actually kind of perfect, yeah. Um, we do need to probably still add power mid though, right? That's kind of scary. Well, I say that, but I don't know if that's true. Ooh, infinites, perfect. Right is probably hard to win, isn't it? Uh, their hand is filtered down. They just heard a World Finite Lady Sif. They have one card in hand. That's usually Chavez, which pushes them to 14. I play this here, I'm adding five, which is 14. So maybe I'm better off adding the Titania there. They play here, Raccoon is actually, well, that's weird because Raccoon, while good if they do play, is bad if they don't. <sighs> yeah, this should actually be, I think this should cover our bases pretty much perfectly. I don't see how we lose. Oh, I forgot to account for Elsa. Oh, shoot. Oh, we're still a tie though, that's fine. And we went elsewhere, so that doesn't matter. Doesn't even matter. I was thinking about Dracula hitting, but I forgot to count for Elsa, but. As you can see, you just covered elsewhere just fine. Them not having an apocalypse really hurt them this game, right? Basically killed their Dracula. Kind of surprised. I guess you kind of have to go for Modok anyway, but just just not a great hand for them, I guess. Maybe that blade getting interrupted, did that hurt them at all? I would say no. Sakar. Okay, I'm fine with anything here, really. Uh, Yeah, Red Skull's big, at least. Here. We can uh, even protect this Red Skull with armor. The only downside for the Red Skull here is that it is going to give them plus power. We don't have a way to turn that off retroactively. Unless the game randomly generates me a... Uh... <laughs> it just randomly makes me a Enchantress or something. So we'll have to try to win this maybe with stats. Because they're gonna, they're definitely gonna stat us out. Ooh, Camertage. Nico Camertage, and a copy of your hand. I mean, double Kazar is kind of cool. We don't have really good Dracula hits this game, I would say, because is triple Kazar good? Does this even work that way? Probably not, right? No, let's put this here to give some spread on our power. Uh, they're like already caught up on the Red Skull, right? That's pretty crazy. I might have to dump something big there. I mean, a Kazar's big-ish, at least. We're gonna be spreading a lot of power over here with the Kazar buffs, and the Squirrel Girl can like fill basically in Kamertage if we want. If I do get an Infinite in hand, I mean, there is gonna be some logic to uh, the Dracula still. Kingpin Iron Fist. Bro, this is a cool, crazy move. <gasps> oh! Okay. Does this go here just to really... Oh, it's gonna be like a 50... Oh, I can't dump everything, though, is the problem. Oh, I can't dump everything. Because I play like Kazar Lizard, I can't, like whatever I top deck, it, you know, is stuck in hand. So maybe I could go for the 50-50 or just try to hit the five power Dracula. It feels weird to put that Dracula right, but I, I'm so committed right. I feel like I need to steal that back with a big play. It's weird because the squirrel is going to be like, what, three power anyway. Squirrel girl could be four. Dracula's probably going to be at least five. Only Titania would maybe be a bigger steal there. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm going to try to play for the high rolls here, I guess. I'm not sure. Oh, they committed a card. Is that locked in? Is that locked in? Oh, Polaris. They were going to try to lock me up. Sneaky. Sneaky stuff. Oh, it's moving too, though. Iron Fist. Okay, so they're not stuck yet. That's kind of nice for them. Yeah, Rocket is probably the best bet, actually. Wins by the, this wins this by default. Ties here, actually, if they don't play. Stops any, like, Magneto, and then you hope Dracula seals right, right? Yeah, Magneto, we tie mid. So we just have to win a tiebreaker here? Truly, we win a tiebreaker, right? We're huge. 
We're actually just insane. Uh, yeah, yeah, we went a tiebreaker. Nice. Okay, dude, let's go. That was a weird game. Dragon didn't even high roll. We still win the tiebreaker. That's good news.